looked like the plane was aiming towards the building. It is a hard head operation. I still have the three flying through the air and I want to avoid anyone getting hurt. It's a hard head operation. Send every available ambulance, everything you got to the World Trade Center now. One of the primary roles, if not the primary role of government, is to ensure that citizens feel safe and secure in their homes and communities. This security is achieved with effective and responsive police, fire, and rescue services. Radio communications play a huge role. Anything that compromises the ability of first responders to communicate among themselves and others ultimately results in failure a failure often measured in loss of life and property. First responder communications may soon be in jeopardy. Federally mandated changes to radio-based communication systems could leave your emergency crews without reliable radio systems. By January 1st, 2013, most emergency radio systems must conform to new technical parameters known as narrow banding. Many legacy systems will not be compatible. Even newer systems with built-in compatibility will need reprogramming. Your current system may be in one of those categories that must comply. If so, it's imperative that you begin planning now for budget, personnel, and technical requirements to achieve a smooth and risk-free transition. So just what is narrow banding? Without going into technical detail, narrow banding will create additional radio channels by reducing the size, known as bandwidth, of current channels by half. Where there now is one channel within the spectrum, there will ultimately be two. As a result, much of the current radio equipment will not work with the new reduced bandwidth channels. It's important you know this for the following reasons. You should not consider purchasing any equipment today that will not be able to meet the new technical requirements. If you do nothing or your process is delayed, you'll put your own system in jeopardy and could potentially interfere with other systems in your own or neighboring jurisdictions. After January 1, 2011, under existing federal rules and notwithstanding any deadline modifications, current radio systems not narrowbanding will no longer be allowed to expand their coverage area. Moreover, you will not be able to replace your current older technology radios with new radios equipped with the older technology. It's also important to understand that transitioning to a narrow band system may negatively impact your current system's coverage area. In many cases, narrow banding reduces an analog radio system's ability to work in fringe areas. Simply put, your existing radio systems, including some pager systems, may no longer cover your entire area after the transition. In fact, your paging systems could actually stop working. To compensate, additional equipment and sites may be needed. Fortunately, determining possible radio system changes can be facilitated by computer modeling. Unfortunately, modeling may not accurately reflect changes in paging coverage. Modeling will also add to the cost and time commitment during your planning stage. This brings us to another aspect of the narrowbanding transition, multi-jurisdictional compatibility. Events of the last decade have reinforced that jurisdictions must be able to communicate with each other effectively in times of large-scale emergencies. It is imperative that the first responder community formulate plans to deal with narrow banding on both a statewide and regional basis. Obviously, this will require detailed planning and coordination. This process will require time, personnel, and funds. The good news, there are many resources to assist with this planning. We'll tell you where to find those resources later. The bad news, as the 2013 deadline draws closer, resources will become less available as more and more localities ramp up their efforts. The bottom line, your community needs to start this process as soon as possible. So just what will this implementation process look like? While the details will be different for each locality, in general, the same steps will be followed. 
evaluate your current system and the impact of transition on its coverage area. Coordinate with neighboring localities. Develop and implement your specific transition plans. Obtain state and federal approvals, including licenses and permits. Begin the procurement process. Purchase, install, and test your new systems. Implement training and cut over to the new system. Your transition is complete. As you can see, this narrow banding transition will require intensive planning and work to implement. But please don't let the technical nature of this initiative discourage or confuse you. In many respects, this project will be little different from other projects you deal with and approve every day. Let's take a look. Create awareness by beginning discussions with the affected user groups and oversight boards. Hold information meetings to gain knowledge of the project. Develop and approve realistic budgets and staff assignments. Formalize the plan and timeline. Initiate the plan and review progress. And finally, cut over to your new system. Your technical staff is an invaluable resource. They, in turn, can utilize a variety of information sources. Visit the VITA website shown on screen to get current information regarding resources, technical contacts, and informational events. Additionally, the Commonwealth has existing contracts administered by VITA for purchase of compliant equipment. Visit VITA's supply chain website for the most current contract information. Again, the bottom line is this. Your emergency radio systems may be federally mandated to transition to new technology by January 1, 2013. You need to determine now if your locality will be affected. If your systems are affected and you do nothing or have not completed your transition process by the deadline, your radio systems will be in jeopardy of failure. Further, you could face federal penalties and possibly license revocation. If you delay, you will gain nothing, but could lose a lot. Start today.